We are rolling, but I want this casual. So right now, Leah, uh, this is cool. You're, you're waiting on some coffee. Yep. Because Ooh. when you're doing any project, like we are right now, you hit that midday or towards the end of the day, and you're tired. Yeah. I mean, we think about it. We haven't done that much today, but there's something about when you focus. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And it's different oh. than when you're just performing a song, like when right. you're playing through it. You get adrenaline yeah. on stage. When you make a music video, you're like focused. You're just kind of getting, and like it's, there's an energy that kind of gets sucked out of you. A little bit. Oh, yeah. yeah. The creative energy, mental energy, like even emotional energy, right? Yep. Just stamina and just like staying positive and right. working through any insecurities you might be facing at the time, being uncomfortable, it's weird yep. or whatever, and like going for it. Right. Like that, that takes an enormous amount of energy. Yeah. It's like slightly the same thing as normal when you're performing, but it's slightly brand new. Like every shot you're thinking, okay, what is, <laughs> what am I doing right now? And, and why? And okay. Right. Yeah. And then be in it. You know what I mean? One, one of the things that um, always happens when I'm um, doing a music video with, with a band is um, you have super loud playback and the band's going off, but they're not plugged in to where they hear their instruments and feel that they, they hear it coming from the sound system. And what ends up happening is, is, and every band has told me this, after one take, they feel more exhausted than an entire show, live show. Wow. Because you can't gauge your energy level because you, you're not actually playing. Your, so you're just just going off, you yeah. know? And so you actually exert 100 times it's more like energy. like you don't have monitoring when you're singing. Right. You over sing and you wear your voice right. out like that because you can't, you don't know where you're at. So your, your assumption is that you're not there. So you just yep. push. Yep. Yeah. Someone got Leah some coffee here. Bring it in. It's okay. Yep. Bring it in. And do you, like, when you're going all day, like, what's the longest shooting day you have? 10 hours, 12? Like, how long does this go? I are mean, you, are you caffeinating or what's going on? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> Just a coffee. Here we go. A little coffee. We got a whole box. Leah, you, you drink that much coffee? When your husband <laughs> brings brought your me coffee? a box mm, of coffee. Coffee. <laughs> I've never seen coffee in a box. <laughs> this is new for me. I'm from Canada. Wow. Oh, I love the music video formula. We hang out, we get coffee, a big box just shows up, it spills all over the table. <laughs> this is great. Fun. Got mellow mushroom for the lunch. <laughs> so good. Awesome. Get Anyone else having coffee? some? I'd, I'd love it. I'll a take cup. some. Yeah. I we mean, might this need, is, we this might is. need something to, that paper towel. Oh, have the stevia. I'm going to try the stevia. Liquid yeah. stevia. Look at, look at the oh, drop. She's got her drops down. down. Also, the liquid powder. stevia. Yeah. So this is, yeah. this, this is actually a great transition. One of the things that, that, that I love about music videos is, it's it's basically summer camp. Everything about making a music video is summer camp. It's kind of weird um, because you're you're hanging out, you're having a good time. There's just yeah. coffee being brought. You know, someone's yeah. getting coffee. You know, um, donuts, food, yeah. donuts, all that. You know, it it really is. Hmm? It's really fun. Oh no, I'm good. Thanks. And I would encourage everybody making a music video, whether you're you want to be a director, whether you're a musician making your own music video. Again, you've got to have people come down, make it fun. I mean. Bring food, bring donuts. It's it's a really good excuse to you know kind of have that community come around yeah. when when you do something. It's fun, break yeah. bread together, it builds yep. camaraderie. Absolutely, you know. Absolutely. Put this in it's here. All right. So you had a question, Leah, right before we did coffee break. You were asking about time. How long does it take oh, me yeah. to make it? Am I caffeinated all all day long? Actually, hold on. What, what was your secret formula? Two? Well, it depends how sweet you like it. I, I, I like it sweet. Okay, do two. Two squirts. See how that is. All right. Can I try? You just, yeah, get in there. Cool. Thank you. All right. So what was that question again, Leah? So what's the longest day that you typically have? Like how long, do you just like go hard till it's done or do you sometimes, you know, spread over two days? Right. And like, what are you doing to keep the energy high to get, you know, to get that awesome quality that yeah. you need to get? Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, technically, I mean, we should all have the, have the mindset of, you know, um, do what you have to do to get it done. But the reason why I did the formula was don't kill yourself. There's only a couple things that, you need and then expand from there so even at this stage of of my career i don't like doing more than an eight ten hour day mm -hmm. i just don't i mean it's um I'm good. I'm good yeah it it can be exhausting like i said it seems simple and it is fun um but it does take a lot out of you mm -hmm. um so um you don't want to make some i mean and again this is sort of why i wanted to do this project there 
there are people who I know who the majority of people make music videos and they will do eight, 10, 12, 14 hour 16. days, 16 hour days, wow. just nonstop over and over and over. And that will make you hate music videos. <laughs> um, and a lot of my clients, people who I partner up with now, one of the things that they really enjoy is I have a process. I know what I'm doing. They know it's not going to be a 10 hour day. They just know it's not to be a 10 hour day. So I can be working with a huge multi-platinum artist. They know it's going to be fun. I'm going to have my act keep together. It fun? You, well, you, you, you keep it fun by, by loving the music, loving what it is you're doing. I mean, it's fun to do. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, you keep it fun by staying engaged. You know, you, you, so, um, you mean the like applause thing at the end of each take for as the yeah. guy doing it. Yeah. It really does help. I mean, even if it's just one or two people, it's like, okay, cool. Yeah. Let's keep I mean, going. Yeah. And you, <laughs> just a little you know, bit of encouragement. Yeah. You know, and, and in one sense, I mean, that's, that's part of your job. If you go that, that's more of the director's job, you know, yeah. um, is yeah, you, if it's like anything, if you keep your head down and just are, you know, like, again, it, it brings the whole set down. So, um, I try to keep my head up. I try to stay positive all day long. I mean, those are but those are things I think most people have to do every day in their job. And like you were saying, like even if, if an artist knows if you have a reputation for keeping it as short and efficient as possible, then like the whole week when they're looking forward to it point. and the morning that they wake up to go to it, they already have a positive outlook on it. Like this guy's not going to waste my time. I'm not right. going to be super, super beat after this. You know what That's I mean? And so bringing that, ener that positivity and kind of, uh, hope into the day is going right. to change their energy level and their like your stamina throughout because oh, yeah. you're like we're almost there. <gasps> we got kids Ooh, in here. Hi, yeah. Hey, handsome. No, that's a great point. I actually wanted to, I I actually wanted a lot of things to be kind of more of a mystery for you today, so I could get a lot of feedback, you know, from you kind of on the spot. But yeah, normally. I would call the artist or I would call the management of the label and I would make sure that the artist knew it's going to be an eight hour day. Mm -hmm. We're not going longer. And most artists, well, funny thing is most artists don't believe, don't believe the memo when, when, yeah. <laughs> when they get it, like an, an eight hour day, you know, cause that sounds um, like a dream. And if I think it's going to be a 10 hour day or a 12 hour day, it's rare. Then I'll make sure I get everyone there two, three hours getting ready before the artist shows up so that when they do show up, it's a five, six, seven, eight hour day. No atrophy. Um, so yeah, you're right. So expectations are key and that's a good transition here, but expectations for the day, I try to set those expectations. Um, let people know and that's, that's, that's such a good point. When you know you're coming in, you've got a certain length of time that you're gonna be doing something that allows you to, to um, to pace your energy mm -hmm. accordingly, yeah. you know? So expectations are, um, are huge. So, you know, but, and, and so with that, with, with that transition though, um, I want to talk about expectations. Okay.